Hi, future millionaires. John here. How do you stop gambling? You gamble, you win, you lose, then you hate yourself. You say you'll never gamble again. You're like, this is ridiculous. I'm done. Never again. Then a few days, few weeks, maybe a few months later, you get a bit of money in the bank, you gamble it, you lose it, you hate yourself, you feel like an idiot, and it's just like, how do you break this vicious circle? I used to have a pretty bad gambling problem from the age of 18 through to 20 years old. I already did a video about how I started gambling, how I relapsed a bunch of times, all that. Link down in the description. But today we're talking about what can you do to stop gambling for good. You need to forget about the losses that you've already had. If you're here watching this video, the damage is already done. The mistake's been made. There's nothing you can do about it. All you can do is accept that that money's gone and focus on what you're gonna do next. Just call it what it is, a life lesson. You know, you make mistakes, everyone does, it's okay. You live and you learn. Losing that money, you probably feel like you've let certain people down, like your family or your partner or whoever. I know I certainly felt like that when I lost the best part of 10 grand, which my parents saved up for me for many, many years. That happened, everyone accepted it, and now it's just a thing of the past. You've just gotta forget about your losses. You know, it's a mistake that you made, but you're not gonna make it again now. Onwards and upwards. Okay, number two. Actually, this one, you really should try this before you try any of the other stuff, and that is to smash the like button. It'll only take a second, and it'll really help push this video out to more people who need to see it. Lock away your money. What do you do when you have a few hundred or worse, a few grand in the bank? Either from gifts or inheritance or a bonus at work, whatever. What do you do with that money when you got a bit extra in the bank? I know what I would have done, probably what you do, you want to gamble it. Because you want to make more money, don't we all? But gambling isn't the way. So lock away any and all unexpected money that you get as soon as you get it, straight away. Put it immediately into a savings account or into an investment vehicle like your 401k or your Roth IRA if you're in the US or into your stocks and shares ISA if you're in the UK. And here's the important bit. Get someone who you trust to control the account for you. Probably one of your family members, probably one of your parents, realistically, because who else are you gonna trust to control, you know, your savings account or your investment account on your behalf, where they could take money out without you knowing. So you should be able to put money in but unless you've got a really good genuine reason, you shouldn't be able to take any money out while you've still got a gambling problem. The reason to have someone else control it for you is because if you are controlling it, you're gonna put money in and then you're pretty much just gonna take it straight back out because I know that that's what I did when I had a gambling problem and whenever I had any money, I'd have good intentions and I'd put it away, but then the urge would come and I'd just take it straight back out. So get someone you trust to control that money to be the gatekeeper until you feel like you've lost the desire to gamble, which will probably be a few months, if not a few years. Right, moving on to number three, but keep watching to the end of the video because the last point that I'm gonna cover is the main thing that stopped me gambling completely. So make sure you watch at the end. Start watching financial YouTube channels. You need to be watching Graham Stephan, Ryan Scribner, Nate O'Brien, Mark Tilbury, Kevin O'Leary, Meet Kevin, Marco from Whiteboard Finance, all those guys. In fact, I'll link up every single one of those guys I just mentioned in the description because I love all of their channels and they just put out really good high quality content for people who are interested in business and finance. And if you're watching this video, that is the kind of person that you need to become. You'll learn how to secure your financial future because you know, you'll learn how to invest your money, how to make more money. And once you enter that world, when you look back at gambling as a way to make money, you'll just feel so silly because it's literally a 0% chance of making money long term. So start watching financial YouTubers to find a better way. Self-exclude. This one's a more obvious one, but if you're really serious about never gambling again, you gotta do it. You should have no problems about banning yourself from every single gambling website and app that you've ever used. Some countries actually offer a service that goes a step on from that, where if you sign up to the service, you'll automatically be excluded from every single licensed gambling website and app. So if you have any accounts open with any gambling platforms, those will be closed automatically and you won't be able to log in or reactivate them. And you also won't be able to create any new gambling accounts. How good is that? In the UK, where I'm from, that service is called GamStop link down in the description. GamStop was a huge part of stopping me gambling. Knowing that that option to gamble easily online wasn't there, whenever the urge came over me, I just wasn't able to do it unless I physically went out to a betting shop. I no longer have the desire to gamble and I think that a big part of that was down to self-excluding. If your country doesn't have a service like GamStop, still definitely self-exclude from all the betting accounts that you already have open. 
stop watching sports events while you've still got the urge to gamble. This might be hard for some of you to hear depending on how into watching sports you are. I know that a lot of people out there watch sports at least every week, if not every day when possible. But let's face it, when you have a gambling problem, what happens when you watch sports? I mean, I don't know if this happens to you, but it used to happen to me all the time where I'd be watching a sports game and whenever events would unfold in the game, I wouldn't really just be appreciating the game for what it is. I'd be thinking, I wonder, now that that's happened, what the odds would be on whatever betting site. Anytime something happened, goal scored, touchdown, uh, tennis, tennis point? Yeah, well, any anytime an event happened, I'd just be thinking, I wonder how the odds have changed now. And that's obviously not a good thought to be having. So if that is happening to you at, at all, at any time, just stop watching sports games completely because you don't need that in your life. That goes for the World Cup, the World Series, any kind of leagues, the Olympics. If you watch a single sports event and you've got those thoughts in your mind, you're going to end up gambling your money away. It's all about changing your environment so that you don't have the same triggers that make you even think about gambling. You don't need to watch sports to be happy or fulfilled or to progress your life. Depending on how much sports you used to watch, you might actually free up a ton of time which you can then spend on something more productive like a side hustle. Put your efforts into a side hustle. For me at least, when I was gambling, I was doing it because I wanted to make money and I didn't have anything else going on at the time that had a chance of making me rich. But now I know that if you have a side hustle, which is just another way of saying your own business, You'll have something that you can sink all of your time and attention and focus into. Why gamble on something that could make you quick money one time when you could spend the same amount of time and effort and mental headspace working on your own side hustle which can make you recurring income and it's something that you're in control of. That realization was the main thing that stopped me gambling for good. All of that other stuff that I just covered, that was, that helped me you know, suppress the urge to gamble, but starting my own side hustle and starting my own businesses, that was what made me just lose the desire to gamble completely. Gambling is a thing of the past for me, and I know that it can be for you too, because you've made it to the end of this video, which means you're pretty committed to making it happen, you know, moving forward, onwards and upwards. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and get your free stock down below in the description. Now that is guaranteed money, so just follow the instructions to get your free stock. Next, why don't you go watch the video that I made about how I started gambling. And for now, well, thanks for watching. This is Debt to Millionaire, the truth about making money.